win and okay well done for them no i will not be frustrated for that no i know i achieved something that i i never dreamed about and i'm gonna keep fighting for keep doing things rafael nadal is a professional tennis player from spain he's currently rated number six in the world by the association of tennis professionals has spent 209 weeks at the top of the atp rankings and has won the year in number one five times nadal has a total of 20 grand slam men's singles championships which he shares with Roger Federer and Novak Djokovic, as well as 36 Masters 1000 men singles wins, which he shares with Novak Djokovic. His 13 French Open championships are the most ever won in any event. Nadal's domination on clay is emphasized by the fact that he's won 62 of his 88 ATP singles championships on the surface, including 26 of his 36 ATP Masters titles and his 81 match victory streak on clay is the longest in the open era. He has 20, Roger has 20, I have 20. Don't increase uh, the motivation for me or the pressure. My approach will not change. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Rafael Rafa Nadal Pereira but is also known as Rafa. He was born June 3, 1986 in Manacor, Mallorca, Spain, making him 35 at the time of this production. He stands six feet, one inches tall. Nadal loves golf and gambling, in addition to tennis and football. In April 2014, he competed in a poker game in Monaco against Vanessa Selbst, the world's best female poker player. Nadal also won the professional level Balearic Golf Championship in October 2020, earning a world amateur golf ranking in the process. After dating his girlfriend Maria Francisca Perello since 2005, Nadal announced on his Facebook page that he married his longtime partner in 2019. On the social networking site, Nadal updated a Got Married post, which was a surprise news for his fans. Married since October 2019 states an update on Nadal's Facebook page's About section. My approach was to keep going and uh, slowly overcome that situation. No? So I was doing and after eight months I started to feel much better. Rafael Nadal was born to Anna Mara Pereira Feminist and Sebastian Nadal Homar in Manacor, a village on the island of Mallorca in the Balearic Islands. His father is a businessman who owns an insurance firm, Vidris Mallorca, a glass and window company, and a restaurant in Sapunta. Mara Isabel is Rafael's younger sister. Miguel Ingel Nadal, his uncle, is a former professional footballer who's represented RCD Mallorca, FC Barcelona, and the Spanish national team. As a youngster, he admired Barcelona striker Ronaldo, and he was granted entry into the Barcelona changing room by his uncle, allowing him to take a picture with the Brazilian. Another uncle, tennis instructor Tony Nadal, saw Rafael's inherent ability and introduced him to the game of tennis when he was three years old. At the age of eight, Nadal won a provincial under-12 tennis tournament while simultaneously being a good football player. Tony Nadal increased his training as a result, and his uncle urged him to play left-handed for a natural edge on the tennis court after analyzing his two-handed forehand stroke at the time. While simultaneously playing football, Nadal won the Spanish and European tennis championships in his age group at the age of 12. To keep his schooling from deteriorating completely, Nadal's father forced him to pick between football and tennis. The Spanish Tennis Association asked that Nadal leave Mallorca and go to Barcelona to continue his tennis training when he was 14 years old. His family declined the proposal, partially out of concern for his schooling. The Federation's financial assistance was reduced as a result of Nadal's choice to remain at home. Instead, his father paid the expenses. Nadal began his professional career at the age of 15. Early victories soon came, and Nadal became the ninth player in history to win an ATP match before the age of 16. In 2003, Nadal was ranked number 79 in the world and continued to build on his earlier success. He participated in various tournaments and won his first ATP title, a doubles event, in Croatia. Next year, he won his first ATP title for singles when he won the Proken Open. He also played Federer for the first time, emerging victorious, and registered his first win in a singles event during the Davis Cup. 
During the next few years, Nadal continued his rivalry with Federer and won more Grand Slam titles. In 2005, Nadal won 79 matches while Federer won 81. This was a period where Nadal established his dominance on clay courts and he eventually beat Federer in the final of the French Open, becoming the first ever player to claim victory against Federer in a Grand Slam final. By the end of the year, Nadal had cemented his position as the second ranked player in the world. Federer and Nadal traded victories and losses once again in 2007, although a number of injuries would plague Nadal leading into 2008. That year, he met Federer in the Wimbledon final for what many consider to be the greatest tennis match of all time. Because of rain delays and eventually match skills, the match became the longest in Wimbledon history. Finally, Nadal won the final set just before the court was eclipsed by darkness. Nadal finished the year with a number one world ranking. Nadal won his first Olympic gold medal in Beijing in 2008, defeating Fernando Gonzalez of Chile in the final. For the first time in a Grand Slam competition, Nadal was the top-seeded player in the U.S. Open. During his first three matches, he did not drop a set, defeating qualifiers in the first and second rounds, as well as Victor Troicki in the third round. He was defeated by Andy Murray in the semifinals. Later that year, Nadal assisted Spain in defeating the United States in the Davis Cup semifinals in Madrid. Nadal went undefeated in his first five matches at the 2009 Australian Open before losing in the quarterfinals against compatriot Fernando Verdasco in the second longest match in Australian Open history at 5 hours 14 minutes. This victory set up a championship showdown with Roger Federer, their first ever meeting in a Grand Slam competition on hard courts. Nadal overcame Federer in five sets to win his maiden Grand Slam singles title on hard courts, becoming the first Spaniard to do it. With his quarterfinal victory over Brazilian Tomás Bellucci at the Rio 2016 Olympics, Nadal reached the milestone of 800 career wins. He won the gold medal in the women's doubles event for Spain with Marc López, defeating Florin Mergia and Horia Takua of Romania in the finals. Nadal started his 2020 season by competing in the inaugural 2020 ATP Cup, where he helped Spain reach the final, where they were defeated by Serbia, with Nadal losing in straight sets against Djokovic. On August 20th, 2021, only 10 days before the U.S. Open, Nadal announced his departure from the 2021 season owing to a left foot injury that had plagued him for a whole year. Feel more stress, uh, but at the same time, we are super lucky persons, no? Because we are able to to <laughs> to work on one of our hobbies. Since going pro in 2001, Nadal has earned more than 120 million dollars in tournament prize money. Nadal brings in millions of dollars every year from his various brand endorsements. Between June 2016 and June 2017, he earned more than 21 million dollars from endorsements alone. In 2016, Rafael Nadal was one of the highest paid celebrities in the world, bringing home $40 million from tournament winnings and endorsements. Between June 2017 and June 2018, Rafael Nadal earned $41 million from his salary and endorsements. He earned roughly the same amount the following year and again between June 2019 and June 2020. Nadal's net worth is estimated to be $200 million. Being one of the richest athletes in the world, Nadal lives a luxurious life. He owns only two residential properties, his house in Mallorca and another house in the Dominican Republic. The latter house is presumably a holiday home. Nadal's mansion in Mallorca apparently cost around $1.5 million, and his luxury home in the Dominican Republic is worth at least $2 million. The cars you'll find in Nadal's garage include an Aston Martin DBS, a Mercedes-Benz SL55, and a Kia Stinger.